I actually think that this is going to be the thing that every business needs to do in 2024 going forward to start making more money. We've tried and tested this with my clients. I've tried and tested it with my business and it works and I'm here to give it to you for free, zero bucks. So stay tuned and actually listen. It is important to realize that not everyone that wants to buy from you is the people that should be buying from you. Otherwise, you're going to end up with clients that are probably just trying you, that will be wanting refunds and that are just not the right fit for your business. Hello there and welcome to the Resonate podcast. My name is Michelle Expert and I will be your host. I hope that wherever you are listening to, whether you're on the road, you're watching this on YouTube, wherever you are, that you know that we're going to keep you a real good company. And if you're somebody who's currently an entrepreneur or you've been planning to start a business but really haven't started yet, I need you to grab that notepad because you know we always come with jams on this podcast. Now this week for me has been rather interesting because so much has been happening as far as my business is concerned and part of what I really love to do um, on this podcast is really kind of share my journey with you and share with you some of the things that we are actually pivoting to and some of the things that my clients are actually finding success in. So this one thing that I want to share with you guys today is going to be a game changer. I basically think, right, I actually think that this is going to be the thing that every business needs to do in 2024 going forward to start making more money. We've tried and tested this with my clients. I've tried and tested it with my business and it works and I'm here to give it to you for free. Zero bucks. So stay tuned and actually listen. So before we get into the secret sauce that I want to share with you, I want to read a piece of research that I actually um, stumbled upon when I was thinking about this concept because I was really trying to ask myself like why is this, why does this work? So I want us to just start from the back a little bit. So this research is from the University of Western Cape and they basically say that 1% of micro enterprises that start with fewer than five employees grow to employ 10 or more people. And they moreover say that approximately 70% to 80% of small businesses fail within the first five years. I don't know about you, but that is not good statistics. It is important that when we start businesses, they grow beyond five years because essentially growing beyond five years mean, means that we are employing more people and we are growing and we're growing a lot more global. Now, this research also says that quite the big reason that some of these businesses also close is obviously the pandemic that we've just moved from um, and also the interest rates that continuously are going up, inflation, etc, etc. But one of the biggest things that they actually mentioned, which they said that they have seen because they've got all the stats around what kind of businesses are closing right now. But one of the most crucial thing that has been at the center of the closure of this 70 to 80 percent of businesses that are closing within the first five years is the lack of business skills. Now, my hope for this podcast, my hope for this um, um, current podcast that we are currently filming this episode right now is that you are able to take everything that we are talking about, you apply it in your business and you're able to make more money. Because essentially when you're crossing more sales and you're crossing more profit for your business, you are able to grow more and expand your mind more. And I know that entrepreneurs who are continuously applying their minds more are definitely entrepreneurs who are going to win. So I hope that you are with us and I hope that you continue to walk this journey with us. Now, the secret sauce that I think is going to really change the game for a lot of businesses in 2024 going forward is providing free education. Now, I know there is a lot of misconceptions around that because people are probably asking themselves, well, Michelle, if I gave them free information or free education around my industry, my product or my service, will they still come to me? Maybe they will then, they don't have to pay for me to, to work with me, maybe because I will now have given them all of this free information, but that is not true. And I really want to take you through why this is something that is important. The first reason why this is an important thing to do is that it helps you build trust and credibility. Now, this is important because people buy from people that they like and essentially when they like people they trust you and you are actually are able to build that credibility that you know your stuff providing free information gives you that opportunity with your clients with your market and with everyone that is basically watching because i would rather go to somebody who definitely knows what they're talking about who has shown me that they know what they're giving about that what that they know what they're talking about and they are valuable and i would go and be able to spend my money with them the second thing is it increases brand awareness again you're obviously in a market that is not necessarily oversaturated, but that is a lot of other businesses that are doing the same thing in it. So how do you stand out? How do you increase your brand awareness to show that you are here? Not a lot of people are providing free education. So you really want to be at the forefront of actually doing that. The third thing, quite similar to the first, 
is that it differentiates you from your competitors remember i said to you in the beginning that a lot of people are asking themselves like why should i provide um free content they basically don't want to give people free information because they think that people are not going to buy from them people are not going to be with them people are not just going to it's almost like you feel like you've already given what you're selling for free so why will people buy it but if you do that and we do this strategically people will trust you a lot more and essentially they will then come to you because you have shown yourself to be different from your competitors the fourth thing is it drives engagement and interaction this is so so important right engagement and interaction is so crucial to sales because if people are engaging with you it means that people are interested in what you're talking about and what you're sharing and if they interact with you you've basically kind of moved into a couple of hurdles as far as selling is concerned what's left after they interact and engage with you is basically the sale because they are interacting mainly because they either agreeing with you or they've got more questions for you to build up on and continuously give that free information so that they have more clarity to make the buying decision do you get it it's so 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 important the fifth thing and i think this is far much more important than the rest is that it attracts qualified leads now this is a very important conversation that i want us to have another time it is important to realize that not everyone that wants to buy from you is the people that should be buying from you otherwise you're going to end up with clients that are probably just trying you that will be wanting refunds and that are just not the right fit for your business so in order to mitigate that you really want to start qualifying your clients qualifying your clients is basically the process where you kind of figure out whether or not this is the right client to invest your time and energy in to convince to buy from you now when you provide this free information you provide this free ed education in your market what you essentially do is that you are now then attracting the clients that are glued in that are watching that know you and that have kind of followed your trail of, inf of information to come to and eventually say oh, okay i understand a b c d and e and now i want to make a buying decision versus people who just saw an ad and then they clicked and they're saying they want to buy but they don't have they really kind of haven't figured out what their needs are they really even don't know yet if you are the right person and then you want to invest all your energy into those people you might waste your time you always want to spend your time on the clients that are important enough for your time and we really know which client is important enough when we qualify our leads because then we know how to direct our energy and we know that we direct our energies to somebody who's going to afford what we are selling that is important and we'll have that conversation another time the sixth and the last thing is that it establishes authority again super important right if for instance people are looking for the best person in the makeup industry they will go to the person that has established authority and they have established authority by showing that they know more than the other people you want to be the top you basically want to be at the one percent of your industry you want to be at the top you want to be where when people are saying these are the best 10 people in this industry you want to be there because once you have established authority once again you can charge much more you can you get better clients that are not even going to give you a hustle because you don't have to prove yourself 10 40 30 times to them but they know that you are a voice of authority in this industry and you are somebody of your business has authority in this industry and they want to buy from you this is why it is important for you to provide free education within your industry within your 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 market and on social media and again every time we talk about providing free education i know social media is the buzz right now but there's a lot of ways we can do it and the second part that i want us to get into now is the how you are going to do this remember on this podcast what i am really focused on is to give you applicable things that you can go ahead and start planning and doing right away so at the end of this episode i would really love for you to actually come up with a strategy on how you're going to do this for your business and start implementing it right away my coaching clients will tell you that literally every time after the session you basically have to apply something immediately and i want to see results the next time we meet so i hope that every single week whenever we're talking about all these things i'm giving you all these strategies every single week when you come back you've got something new or you've even developed a strategy for yourself that is already on its way to working yeah so that becomes important so let's talk about how to do it now the how to is the fun part because we've kind of spoken about why it is important you want to do that for yourself now how do you do this the first thing you can do is blogging i know people say video content content is great and we're going to get into that but blogging is not dead okay there are people who still love to read great pieces of content blogging is so amazing and this also depends on the kind of industry that you are in so part of the things that i'm going to mention here you need to really understand that they are subjective to the kind of industry that you are in right so for instance if you're in makeup maybe blogging might not be for you but if you're somebody who's in the service industry and you probably are capitalizing on linkedin as a social platform and you've got other digital tools maybe blogging is a thing for you because the 
the people that are interested in um, what you are selling are more research based and they want to read and they want links where they can reference what you've been writing about etc etc so blogging is for you so this is subjective but blogging is important and there are some people that are just great at writing things compared to being on video if that's not your comfort zone so blogging is so important you can still do that on your website and then you can link the blogging um the blogging site onto your social platforms whichever social platform that you decide to work on second thing is social media now you guys know i love social media i share a lot of strategies and tools on my social media platforms so if you're not part of that community go ahead and join there it's michelle underscore expert real we share so much information but when we talk about social media we basically talk about twitter youtube facebook instagram uh there's a lot of other more out there but whichever one now the important thing about how to do this is you want to create content that is able to speak to people and that is able to educate people so for instance if you are somebody that is selling makeup brushes i would then start advising you to start taking content and start filming videos where you are sharing with people how to use those makeup brushes what to look out for when they're buying makeup brushes this is not to say hi guys buy my makeup brushes but you're saying hi guys i am a voice of authority as far as makeup brushes are concerned so therefore here is how you can know that this makeup brush is going to last you for a long time so do you get the difference it makes you appear as somebody who cares for your client and when people feel cared for they will be willing to spend so much money on you so that is very important so you can use social media create that content creates that video content um the third thing is email marketing my absolute second fave after social media is email marketing email marketing is a great tool because number one it drives sales because you can connect links there and it's it, it actually allows you to personalize it email marketing is so important especially if you're somebody who's kind of enjoying writing i recently have started enjoying writing and i've been enjoying just noting down some kind of knots and brain dumping for my audience to really join uh, to really kind of enjoy as well so if this is your vibe email marketing is going to be great and you can also then take your audience and you market through this journey it's also great for community building so you can take them through this journey around okay so if we go back to the example where we're talking about the makeup brushes right if you are going to then start educating people on like the best uh, makeup brushes like three ways to know how um three ways to know when a makeup brush is going to last you for a long time you can then put that on an email and you can even put pictures and graphics and show and give links and all of that but you've got the opportunity to connect with people and the fifth thing is podcasts you are listening to this podcast right now because we are giving our community our audiences and people at large free education you can definitely do the same for yourself start a podcast and start sharing valuable information that people will be able to apply the same thing has happened to me in the past where people used to say, say to me well why are you giving out all these free strategies and all this information for free when you could just make people pay it the whole strategy is you want to play the long game and the long game is being able to gain community gain trust to eventually convert into sales so once again when people are coming your way they're already qualified leads they they know what to expect they know what it is that you're going to give them and it just makes the whole selling process for you easier so start a podcast if this is along your line if this is something that you'd enjoy it doesn't even have to be video you can basically just start a podcast on audio and have people listen to it if you don't want to show your face and camera and if you want to you can still show your face and camera and it would still be amazing the sixth one is ebooks and resources again super super important if you are somebody who enjoys writing you can basically package the information that you have and write it as an ebook now the the trick maybe let me say it here to giving free information is not to give everything but is to give something that makes people want more of so for instance we get a lot of our clients from people just watching our podcasts and most of our content and saying listen i love this and i applied it in my business and it worked but i want more how can i work with you you want to do something like that so your ebook books if they're going to be free you want to make them a bit more shorter they could be a five page a ten page so people can then start getting to work as far as your work is concerned and start seeing how impactful it can be so that by the time you release a new workbook and you're charging um, or a new new ebook and you're charging a hundred dollars for it this time or five hundred dollars for it this time people are going to buy because they did get a free one that kind of gave them value in the past so therefore you can imagine how much more value they're going to get from something that they're going to pay for because you already like you kind of set the the standard of value so high when you give people free information because they know that if they purchase from you you're going to give them more value than what they're already getting and if what they're already getting is something that no one else is doing you're bound to win and you're bound to make those sales and make that money so super important the last one 
is online courses and tutorials. Again, so important like the rest of the other things that I mentioned. You can do free online courses and I think we easily get overwhelmed every time we talk about um, um, online courses because we think it has to be like seven modules and like 28 videos. A course in the stand age can basically be four videos with four workbooks that people can take over four weeks. It could be that simple. You know the people in your industry, what their attention span is, what would they find valuable, how do they enjoy working. You obviously also might be speaking to people who let's say are at work, people who are busy so you, you can't have class every day because this is not university and people don't enroll for that when they're doing online courses but you want something that is probably very well self-paced and you can definitely do something like that you can even do like a three-day course where it's three videos and three workbooks that people can do on a daily basis and make this free but the important thing i want you to realize with all these pointers that i'm mentioning is that they are 100 doable but also you have to tailor them to your industry to your audience and to your people if you know that in my industry people are interested in knowing about makeup and knowing about brushes but it's not the core thing that they really want to be part of then you don't want to do give them something that they have to kind of watch every day but you want to give them something weekly because they can watch it on a sunday when they're relaxed they can watch it on a saturday or on a friday after work but if you know like okay i'm talking to entrepreneurs who basically want to do something every other day to improve their skills maybe then give them that frequent content but you know when you'd have to do a bit of research and the best way to do research we'll talk about this another time but i'll leave you with this it's to basically see what your competitors or the businesses that you aspire to be are actually doing because you can just take a similar strategy tailor it to what you're already doing and then advance it and then launch it very easy but what i want you to get from this podcast episode is that you have to stop providing free information to your audience free education free education free education that is how we make sales it does not matter what industry you are in it is going to pop off and if you can already see people are beginning to buy from people that they actually trust and companies that they trust so for instance people will come and buy from you because you're showing your face on camera and they can see you and you're constantly present and you're consistent with your education consistency is also very much key because if you give people free education today then you disappear and then you don't come back in a month and then you do whatever whatever it is people are not going to trust you so if you're committed to giving people free education you have to make sure that it is consistent because when you are giving free information you're basically kind of saying to people this is what it is like to work with me so if you say this is what it is to work with me and you're giving value you're giving consistency you're giving kindness you're giving upliftment they automatically know that should i invest a thousand dollars in whatever program or whatever thing that she's selling or he's selling i'm definitely going to get this and even more it's your way of advertising your value the or the value of your offering so it is important for you to do okay now always these sessions are like a mini masterclass, and i really hope that you can take everything that i've shared you can note it down and start coming up with a strategy for yourself for your business and for whatever it is that you want to do whatever it is that, you, that you've been planning to do and get to action that's the one and the most biggest thing that i'd love for you to do for me except subscribing and liking and leaving a comment and letting me know what you thought about this video i want you to apply all of these things that we share and with that said i hope that we've kept you good company i hope that this episode was so valuable again these are strategies and these are tools that we use for our clients these are also tools that we use for our business as well and i have no doubt that when you apply yourself they are definitely most definitely going to work from you so i love you guys so much thank you so much for tuning in wherever you are and we will see you in the next video